They are imposing their secret agenda on Australia and seeking to control the Australian way of life. In this, our first episode, we'll share with you information about the most powerful political organisation in Australia. Information they don't want you to know. GetUp describes itself as a movement powered by the values and hopes of everyday people. They have more than 10 times the membership of the Australian Labor Party and the Liberal parties combined. Their revenue from donations is around $10 million per year, which it spends on activism, trying to influence government policy and the way you vote. Organization get up for an eight-week assault on the most conservative MPs. As an influential group as they are in terms of pure numbers and finances, that could potentially be dangerous. I think they'd definitely be surprised to consider that they are the most powerful political body. So far, GetUp have forced up electricity prices, pushed the teaching of radical gender theories into our children's classrooms. They are attacking freedom of speech and have promoted political correctness to extremes. And now they want to abolish Australia Day. GetUp's uh, long-term agenda is to undermine Western liberalism and to replace it with radical socialist ideas and ideals. The values which we've all believed in, uh, certainly during my lifetime, are now being traduced. But clearly, the Labor Party, the Greens, uh, in tune with GetUp, have been moving increasingly to the left. GetUp is deliberately deceiving Australians to change our way of life under the direction of a foreign network of radical left-wing activist groups. But it's not uncommon though to have these groups fly under the radar because that's how they operate. They sort of operate from this veiled position where they can put their people here and, and direct things as they need to. For too long, GetUp have been hoodwinking well-meaning Australians into unwittingly implementing their radical agenda. Let's meet the two characters behind the idea that sparked GetUp. The founders are Australians who met while studying abroad, David Madden and Jeremy Hymans. The two Australians continued their activism campaigning together in the US. It was during this period that they came to witness the power of social activism as was being employed by US-based radical left-wing activist group Move On, which shared many of their values they would have more to do with Move On later. Meanwhile, back in Australia, the trade union movement was suffering a massive decline in membership. They were looking for a new way to recruit members and win elections. Fortuitously, while visiting family back in Sydney, Hyman's caught up with an old friend, Amanda Tattersall. At that time, Tattersall was an organiser for the Labor Council of New South Wales at their meeting Hyman's outlined his vision for a left-wing activist organisation to operate in Australia, similar to the way Move On was working in America. Tattersall was enthusiastic and her union boss quickly came up with $50,000 in seed capital to bring Hyman's vision to life. Bill Shorten, then National Secretary of the Australian Workers' Union, contributed $100,000 in union funds and subsequently became a founding board director. Later, the CFMEU would make a donation of a whopping $1.1 million. And so, GetUp was born. Modelled on Move On in America, they harnessed the power of Facebook and Twitter to create a very powerful tool to support their activist goals. GetUp lure people into their network by talking to them about an issue that they feel strongly about, such as climate change. Then over a period of time, they radicalise them and convince them that other radical campaigns are worthy of their support. They then activate them to campaign for unrelated issues such as freeing David Hicks. GetUp is now the Australian arm of a group that goes by the name of OPEN. It's an umbrella organisation that provides for the international coordination of the activities across several continents. It's an exclusive group, and this is where the real power lies. 
And in some ways, the open network is reminiscent of the old style Soviet Union. Because that ultimately, when you get down to the crux of it, when you get down to the core of what these people stand for, they're about this sort of globalist agenda and it's very disconcerting. And it is essentially a globalist ideal, essentially authoritarian in nature, where individual liberty and freedom is expunged, freedom of expression is something that uh, no longer exists. In our next episode, we'll explore the culture of GetUp and underhand methods that they employ to deliberately deceive Australians in order to achieve their hidden socialist ideals. And this is not extremism, it's not uh, conspiracy theory. It's there for anyone to see. It's time to wake up to get up. Authorised by Jared Benedet for Advanced Australia Limited, Brisbane, Queensland, 4000.